In this video, we are going to discuss the use of social network analysis for understanding and predicting academic performance. The idea of the use of social network analysis for understanding and potentially predicting performance comes from organizational behavior. It has been shown in many different studies that general performance in different organizational situations, especially related to different managerial roles, is typically associated with different network centrality measures. For example, network brokers, those who have higher level of between a centrality, for example, typically are associated with higher level of achievement in their careers. Similarly, they have typically associated high level of creativity. Therefore, the question is, is there the association between network position and academic performance in different educational contexts? This relationship has been investigated in many different research studies, and many of them confirm the same association that exists and that was found in organizational behavior. In particular, in this video, we are going to focus on one of those studies in which the social network analysis methods were applied to so-called cross-class networks, that is, the networks which were built between students based on their enrollment into the same classes. This idea comes from the already existing research in general social network analysis. The idea comes from the fact that importance of uh, weak ties is typically associated with creating many opportunities for, for example, finding a job or in the case of education for many opportunities to access different types of information. Those individuals who have better and broader weak ties are better placed to have better performance, find a better job or academically perform better. At the same time, the research of Catron Twait already in the 90s uh, discuss the opportunities for individuals to activate latent ties by simply being associated by attending the same event, for example, the same course. So this is the idea behind cross-class networks. The students who are enrolled into the same class, regardless of their direct interaction, are connected by an event, and that event is being the class in which they are involved. Therefore, cross-class networks are constructed by analyzing the historical data that universities are, for example, collecting about their students and by understanding which students took the same course at the same time. That very event creates and establishes a link between students. The study discussed in this video is based on the 10 years of data of a master's program in an open university in Canada. The data were collected for a period of 10 years and the cross-class networks were based on the student enrollments. The study looked into the association of the average grade point as the outcome. The study also looked into the different types of covariates that could potentially confound this relationship. For example, duration of time students spent in the program as well as the overall number of courses students completed at the moment when the study was conducted. As the outcomes of this study showed, there was a strong, significant association between closeness, centrality and eccentricity with the academic performance, while degree and between a centrality were not significantly associated with the academic achievement. This basically means that those students who are central in cross-class networks, that is to say, those students who need to go through the lowest number of the other nodes to access some other node in the network were best placed and had best academic performance. The implications of this study indicate that it is important to create learning communities, especially if those uh, learning offerings are happening in different online environments. Inside of these online environments, students very often may feel isolated and therefore if they are not interacting and linking with other students, it is also important to facilitate that interaction. At the same time, it is also important to provide different counseling services for students so that they can provide guidance who to enroll next course. If students are always enrolling with the same group of students, they may feel very comfortable to study 
and share different ideas. However, they may be missing different other opportunities and access to other novel and fresher ideas. Therefore, establishing that balance of the connections is significant. I would like to draw your attention to the paper presented in this video and I would encourage you to read the paper so that you can find out more details about this particular study and the associations reported in the literature between social network analysis measures and academic performance. Thank you for your attention.